Hey, hi everyone. So this will be a quick video on all you need to know about Docker for the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer Exam. So without further uh, ado, let's get started. So what I have is, uh, uh, I have created a folder called Docker 3 and inside that folder I have got nothing. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what like first command that you can run is Docker version and to see if you have Docker installed and it's up and running fine. So I can see some output coming back. So I'm all good. Next, what I can do is, um, is uh, this is a hello world image from Docker Hub. And if you run this, it will pull this image from the Docker Hub repository and it will download to your local machine. So it will take some time. Okay, so it's downloaded. After this image is downloaded, you can do a Docker run hello world and this will run that particular image. So this will be fast because we have already pulled the image. So you will see here that uh, hello from Docker. So this means everything is all well and good. And we'll, we'll continue to the next step. So uh, after we have uh, successfully pulled and ran one image, you can do Docker images all and you will see the image being listed. And this was like, uh, this is some information about this image uh, from the Docker Hub that it was created nine months ago and the size you can see here the size as well of this particular image. Okay, so so now what I will do, I'll create my own Docker file, custom file. So I'm just creating a uh, file and putting some message like your world, how are you? And I'm uh, redirecting it to a file. So if I can just show you, so this will be the file. And um, I'll create a Docker file and I'm using an uh, image from Alpine and I'm copying that particular file uh, which I just created in my previous step and I will just run one final command like oh, while true uh, just uh, uh, output that uh, content of the file and sleep for 60 seconds so this is my docker file so the docker file is created I can quickly show you how it looks like so this is the content and now I can create, um, I can build a, a Docker image from that particular file. And here, what I'm doing is I'm giving the uh, tag. So this is the tag. You leave the naming con convention for the tag is like you have your Docker Hub repository and you call any the image, whatever you feel like. So I'm calling it your world. And finally, you give a version tag. So we usually start with 1.0 and there's a latest tag, which always points to the latest version. So we don't have to give it, but this is the, uh, most conventional naming format to uh, tag your images. Okay. So if I run this command, uh, it will take that particular Docker file which is in this folder and it will create uh, an image out of that Docker file. So you will see all these steps being listed uh, here. And what I can do now is uh, if I want to push this image, I have to log into Docker Hub. So if you have a Docker Hub uh, username or user ID, you can use this command to log in and I can just log in. So uh, after I log in uh, successfully, I can do a Docker push. So Docker push will uh, push the image which you have just created to the uh, Docker Hub repo. And so it will just, uh, it, uh, it's actually doing the processing for push that particular image. So once I do that, I can quickly show you how it looks like. So I can just open the hub.docker.com and go to that URL. So if I come to that particular URL, you will see uh, that I have just pushed my image few seconds back. So this is all well and good. And now I can go back to the uh, terminal. Next, um, I can just do again Docker images all and you will see two images. One was hello world, which we have uh, pulled earlier and second one which I just created few uh, some time back and now I can run my image uh, so this is after building I can run that particular image so you will see uh, the last command was like it will print out a message and sleep for 30, 60 seconds and again it will uh, keep repeating that particular message so I will run uh, I will let it run I will not do control C here I will go to the another uh, terminal tab and uh, run the next set of commands. So I'm again in the Docker 3 folder and these are the files that we have created till now, Docker file and your world. And now I can do, uh, this is a command to list all the processes which are running or 
not running as well. So there are two uh, two uh, uh, processes uh, that were spawned, and one of them is still running, which is my image. Okay. Next is like how to uh, export uh, how to export a Docker a Docker process. So this is like process. This is uh, this should be like a running container, not an image. So the command will be something of this sort. Uh, you will have to give Docker export dash o for the output and then a tar file. So you can name whatever you feel like. So I'm just giving your world that your world uh, dash export dot tar. And then finally here the last part I have to give the uh, uh, container id so container id can be like here right container id can be one of this like you can take this one or this one this will uh, so this will be automatically assigned by the docker so i can to make my life easier i can just uh, give this one and if i do a tab it will auto auto complete so so this will uh, export the running container so if i do an ls you will see my export has been successfully completed and next uh, what i can do uh, this is another another command if you want to save uh, so export will be like running container and if you have an image and you want to create a tar file out of it you can do like this as well so this is like say docker save output uh, tar file name anything that you want and here finally you have to give the image name not the container id so i can do like this and Again, my uh, image has been saved to a tar file. So I have got one tar, two tar from different uh, uh, process. So next is you can check out the logs. So here also you uh, you can give the name of, so I can just uh, give like this. So you will see the messages are coming. Um, next is you can stop uh, the running container. So I can stop the running container. This may take a few seconds. Uh, yeah, it, it got stopped. So now if I do docker ps dash dash all, you will see uh, uh, all the uh, container uh, which we are running, but now they are in the uh, stop state because they have exited, exited and same if I do images, you will see the two images. And next, next if I just want to do a cleanup, so I am performing uh, all the containers which have, which have exited, I am like forcefully removing them. So this will remove two uh, running containers. And same, I want to clean up all my images. So I list and uh, remove RMIs for remove images and all the images have been successfully removed and if i now do a process all you wouldn't see anything and same if i do images all there will be nothing so this is like all full cleanup done uh, so that's all i have for you uh, see you in next video bye <laughs>